Hi, I'm Frank. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you the treatment of burns. For demonstration purposes, we're going to break us into three parts. Superficial burns, partial and full thickness burns, and inhalation injuries. As always, when you come across a casualty, remember scene safety, universal safety precautions, and to do your primary survey. Treatment of an inhalation injury. Firstly, you will remove the casualty from the environment that has caused this injury. As an inhalation injury is a life-threatening injury, you will immediately call 999 or 112. Once you have removed the casualty from the environment, you will then proceed to treat the casualty. Firstly, you look for signs of an inhalation injury. Signs would be soot around the casualty's mouth or nose, singed nose hairs, and swelling of the throat. If the casualty is unconscious, you may proceed to insert an airway, either an OPA, or if the casualty still has a gag reflex, an NPA. You will also continue to monitor the casualty's SpO2 levels. At this point, you can put the casualty on supplementary oxygen. It would be 100% O2 at 15 litres per minute. With ALS on the way, you must continue to monitor the patient. It is important to continuously monitor the casualties airway, as at the beginning it may be okay, and later it may become compromised due to the injury from the inhalation. 